see just before I um just before I pressed the film the record button there was loud bass a car with loud bass so I'm still feeling the dizziness and vertigo and um well this video I wanted to ask um if Google if if they had like you know how you can rate certain companies on Google reviews well if there was like a location where gang stalking is headquartered or something which I, that probably is uh, I heard about all the different fusion centers but um and I, and and I know that you know people you know have said that gang stalking is you know a business but I hate that people make it like just because something is business or because it's a business then it's okay and it's right like all the shady stuff that goes on in entertainment industry or in the corporate world and people make it like that's the way business is supposed to be like it's supposed to be twisted and corrupt um, and we're supposed to just accept it as is because it's people in power, you know, having the license to do evil and do, and do wickedness. I mean, the shady stuff going on when I was working at the Grand Canyon, I mean, the Grand Canyon, you know, the human resources, the human resources manager, I can't get my words out right the human resources manager, um, he said, well, this is a business, so that doesn't mean, it, that doesn't make a right for people to be corrupt and do dirty, wicked stuff. So, um, well, I'm starting to get really sleepy, hoping I can get a nap or something. But my question is, um, for y'all, any targeted individuals looking at this, even if you're not targeted and you understand gang stalking, y'all can put y'all two cents in on your on your opinions and comments um, in the comments section of this video. Um, so you know how I mean on Google reviews on certain businesses and Yelp. I noticed that the <clears throat> people think I'm petty and complain so much, but it's like if you go look on Google reviews or Yelp or something like that, and or even TripAdvisor, and see people's opinions and reviews of certain businesses, and and, and you would see how if they're the ones who sound like they're spoiled or entitled, or nitpicky, or overly critical, and just got any and every little thing to complain about. People talk about, I'm too negative, energy draining, and complain too much. So, um... <laughs> excuse me. Um... So... I mean... The only time I do Google reviews is if, um, the only time I do Google, I rarely do Google reviews, but when I do is when I've had horrible business at somewhere. So I heard that, you know, places that have like nearly perfect Google reviews and you're a targeted individual, and and every they have all these great ratings, and then you go there being targeted, and the manager who gets all the all the um praise and everything is the one who singles you out and does something dirty to you, and then you made to look like you're the only crazy fool who has something quote unquote negative or something bad to say, and you be well within your rights, and you're not being overly critical or nitpicky 
or just wanting to whine or complain about something. You truly did have these horrific, traumatizing experiences um, by somebody who was falsely glorified as good. And then that business owner is probably a freaking Freemason with probably uh, manipulated or manufactured excellent Google reviews. But, um, so my question is, if there was a such, uh, Google review that you would put for the business of the business of gang stalking, period, if, like if, if, if say if gang stalking was a place to go to, I, I mean like. A bit a business building to go to, and the gang stalking is operated out of this one building. And you go to Google reviews. What would be your review as a or what would be your words in your review as a targeted individual? Um, that's what I want to. If if I'm, I, I don't know if I'm making myself clear enough, but um, just like well, the Georgia Guidestones. It's at an actual place, and I've seen a lot of uh, <laughs> well within people well within their rights have bad Google reviews on the physical place of the Georgia Guidestones. If you look up Georgia Guidestones, just simply Google it and uh, look at the reviews, and people tell the truth, and they have uh, nothing good to say about the Georgia Guidestones, because we woke, and we know what's up, we know what's up, so, um, it's like, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, so it's like, I, that's like when, um, of course, the gang stalkers. If Google, rev if there was like a a such review to leave, like say if there was a a, a physical location in Atlanta, Georgia, or something like that, called Gang Stalking Inc. or, or Gang Stalking Incorporated or something like that, and 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 you had like a bad experience being gang stalked by those people. And then you can put up a Google review. Like, what would you say? Um, I know the gang stalkers will high five themselves um, and give all themselves praise and everything like that. But for us targeted individuals, we don't look like the crazy ones giving them bad reviews because they try to make it like as if gang stalking is such, you know, for the, you know, greater, uh, you know, like as if it serves a great purpose, but gang stalking is a satanic cult. You ain't going to be a gang stalker and you haven't sold out. And I'll see y'all in a while.